Mirror Mecho charts, which are also known as Mecho charts, are two-dimensional stack charts that are very popular amongst consultants. They combine the functionality of both a stacked column and a stacked bar chart and display data in blocks that vary in both height and width. These charts are notoriously difficult to build and a third-party solution such as Macabacus are often required to generate them. Fortunately, Macabacus does all the hard work for us as far as the main chart setup and also all of these, as we can see down below, supporting calculations that are required to run the chart. We'll explain some of these in a little bit. Most of them we don't have to worry about, however, but we'll really focus on how to generate the chart. We'll explain how it works, how to interpret it, and then also go through some formatting tips to make sure that your data visualization is as effective as possible. That's what we do here at the Macabacus YouTube channel. We want to help you become better financial modelers and also presenters of data. Great, now let's start over and build our Merameco chart. We can find it up in Quick Charts and you'll see the Merameco chart right here. Our dialog box comes up and it does remember your last used settings, which is great. And we can actually export example data. What it's given us is four series or segments and then four categories, alpha through to delta. And we can see that, for example, for series A, then we have dollar values for each category and so on and so forth. So we can see how this is really two dimensional. We have two options for our data orientation. We can have the series in columns. So that would be segment A, B, C, and D in columns, and then the categories in rows. Or we could have the opposite. We'll go with the first option here. Then we have some options on the formatting. We can go ahead and set this after, since this is really just creating a native Excel chart. So let's see how it looks first, then we can reformat it accordingly. But these options are here, of course, to change any of the colors. For example, on the gaps, white is good to match the chart background color. And the label color, white is good when the series colors are dark so that it contrasts. And we go with quite a thin gap width there. And let's go ahead and before we hit OK, we did miss the category label position. So we can set those to be above the chart or below the chart. We'll go with above chart. One can always adjust these afterwards. And there we go. Macavicus has now exported all of our data and a pretty nice looking Merameco chart very quickly. We're just gonna move everything over to the model tab, make some slight formatting adjustments just on the colors so that it fits our CFI branding. We'll explain in the next video the changes we're making. And then also, as you saw earlier, you saw all this data was formatted nicely by us. We'll just reformat it before we move forward. We'll see you in the next video where we'll hop over to the model tab and we can dive deeper into this chart and also explain how to interpret it. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.